All right, now I'm going to show you how I get my raised garden beds ready for a new planting season. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mulch. You see how the soil is lower than the top of the garden bed. We're going to fill that back up and I'm going to show you the soil mixture I like to use. Now the first thing I should point out is I don't use any native soil in any of my garden beds. The first bottom half is, a, is strictly just a locally made compost and no matter where you are in the world you need to hit the internet, you need to go to your lo local nursery, start asking around and find somebody who's making compost using using materials from your area because the soil that that compost makes is going to be far more suitable for your climate. Now in my area, I'm just right outside of Phoenix, I can go down to Lowe's and I can get this. It's called Garden Time Potting Soil. It's made by a local company called Western Organics, also known as Growwell. Now you can also contact Western Organics and go down and pick this up by the truckload. And if you happen to be watching and you're from my area, I'll have all of their information in a more detailed box below. Okay, we talked about the bottom half, let's talk about the top. The top half is gonna have a soil mixture made up of the compost we just looked at, plus the worm castings, which is perfect plant food. Coconut core, we'll be coming back to that. And azomite rock dust. Coconut core uh, works the same as peat moss. What it is, it's basically a ground up coconut pith. But the reason I like using it is because it's far more renewable than peat moss. And on top of that, in my experience, I think it works better. Now I get mine at a local nursery, and I know around the country a lot of nurseries are starting to carry it, so check there. If you're having a hard time finding it, I'll put, you can get it on Amazon, and I'll put Amazon links in a more detailed box. Now coconut core comes in like this compressed cube. What you want to do is you want to take the plastic off, throw it into a wheelbarrow, and put water on it. Come back in about 15 minutes and start breaking it up with a shovel. And if it needs more water, uh, just keep repeating that process until you have it fully hydrated. And when you got it fully hydrated... It's going to look like this. This is coconut core I have completely hydrated. And you can see it's just, it's just ground up coconut pith. All right, it's a simple process. Now worm castings. I like to put my worm castings in a bucket. It's just far easier to work with this way. Now on top of this, we're going to add the coconut core. Now I'm just going to mix this top layer in. I don't till my soil. My garden beds are conditioned enough, conditioned enough to where I just don't have to. And on top of that, there's a lot of research that says that tilling may cause a lot of harm to the biology in your soil and you know you have to do your own research and come to your own conclusions but based off everything I've seen and the results I've gotten since I've stopped tilling um, I think there's something to it now we're gonna put the azomite rock dust right on top We just water everything in. Well, there it is. That garden bed is ready for planting. 